Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Okay, so today I am really excited about this video. I came up with it like a few days ago and I'm really interested to see what happens. So today I'm going to be drawing myself a self-portrait from memory. So no mirrors, no photos, nothing. Now the thing that makes this a little bit more interesting is if you don't already know this, um, I have aphantasia and aphantasia means that you can't visualize or picture things in your brain and I have like full zero it's just black like it's all black and I didn't even know that other people could picture things I always thought it was like a just like a metaphor <laughs> so uh, we're going to be going basically only off my kind of literary I guess description of myself and my knowledge based on like painting portraits of myself before of kind of my proportions and I guess we'll see how close it looks to me I'm not <laughs> particularly hopeful but hopefully I can make something that kind of looks like me we'll see I'm just gonna be doing this in black and white on like uh, with just some pencils and maybe some white highlights on this cream pastel paper because I figured I'm already trying to draw my face from memory let's not add color into this mix this seems like too much too much so yeah uh without further ado let's just start the video and i will get to drawing and we'll see how this turns out and i will put a photo of like me obviously <laughs> so that you can see a comparison and yeah okay i'm nervous but let's start okay so i decided to just kind of start out by establishing the general proportions of at least a human face. I think my face has got pretty normal proportions overall. I do feel like I have kind of smaller features in my face than like maybe some normal people, normal people, other people, everyone's normal. Um, so I started out by just establishing where the overall proportions of the face would be and starting to try to get a little bit of my face shape. Also, by the way, my head does kind of come into frame quite a bit during this video. I am sorry about that. There's a reason that I don't draw a lot on camera and it's because I tend to need to get really close to the paper so it's kind of hard for me to keep my head from not like jumping in the camera but I digress so I'm continuing to kind of just build an overall structure of what the face looks like just based on my own memory of myself so I laid out kind of where the facial features would be and then I started trying to get some more of the details that make them make it look a little bit more like me so uh, my nose has a little bit of a bump in it and I have a little bit of a like dent divot or whatever um at the uh, base of my nose at the tip of my nose um so I tried to kind of get that in and then I went and worked on the eyes a little bit one thing that I struggled with a lot with this was trying to get the proportions of the eyes the nose and the mouth correct within the face so that they weren't too large or too small um like right now I think the eyes are a little too large and I do think that's something that I struggled with throughout this entire thing was trying to figure out the right proportions my lips are a little bit thinner. They're not like crazy, crazy thin, but they're definitely more on the thin side. So I tried to make sure I didn't make them too thick, but I also do have a little bit more of a pronounced Cupid's bow. So I tried to get that as well. Um, at this point, I was like, okay, the eyes are too big. So I decided to make them a little bit smaller and then continue to try to work on the outside of the face, trying to get my overall face shape. I have a little bit, again, of that divot in my chin as well. So I was trying to get that slight little like indentation there as well as get my cheekbones in. I have kind of higher cheekbones, although I think that I made my face shape a little bit more structured and uh, bony than it actually is in real life, or at least than it is uh, now after you know the quarantine 15 <laughs> um, so yeah uh, for my eyes I do have hooded eyelids so my eyes are ever so slightly droopy at like the the insides and so I was trying to get that as well um, and uh, make sure that that kind of like came across and that they had like the correct amount of uh, hood hoodedness droopiness to them so that it looked like mine so I did kept pl keep playing around with the eyes quite a bit um, at this point, I kind of felt like I was starting to see myself in it a little bit, especially in the nose and the lips were starting, I think, to look a little bit more like mine. Um, and so I was pretty happy with that. Kept fussing with like everything. I just feel like I kept redoing everything over and over again. And I was trying to remember specifically like what I don't know. I couldn't visualize my face on my head, but I was trying to remember all the different proportions. So like you can see right there, it's kind of like measuring things out and I would kind of like touch my face, you know, and try to be like, okay, my face is like how much longer than my eyes, you know, like using feel. Um, and so that was kind of helpful. 
For the ears, I don't really know what my ears look like, so I just do standard ears. You know, I don't think I have particularly like unique shaped ears or anything like that. I do have a slightly elongated philtrum, so I tried to get that in, make sure that there was enough space between the bottom of my nose and the top of my upper lip. And also was just trying to make sure that the structure of the face was okay, that I was getting like the bones under there and everything like that. So right now this is still really, really rough. Um, and once I kind of, but I was feeling like, okay, these proportions are looking kind of like me. Like I kind of see myself in it. So at this point I was like, okay, let's start kind of building on this and trying to make it look more like me as I go. Um, so the eyebrows were kind of hard because I actually have pretty thin kind of sparse eyebrows and I couldn't quite remember where all of the like little patches and stuff were. And I definitely feel like I kept wanting to make them thicker. So I definitely adjusted those a little bit later as well. I was using graphite for this, so I used a combination of kind of like smudging with my little pinky finger um, or like forefinger there and then going back over with the pencil. I like to combine like smudging and actual pencil marks because I think if you just smudge too much, the whole thing gets like the entire texture is just really smudgy and nothing really stands out. So I think it's really good when you're using like smudging and blending techniques to use them in like conjunction with actual shading hatching and things like that because it's going to create more depth and interest to your piece anyway I digress so continuing to work on those eyes I wanted to make sure that they like really fit into the eye socket it's definitely hard because I don't have any like visit like physical reference in front of me as so I'm trying to like remember how everything like works in the eye socket and then specific shadows that like my nose casts like my eyes are a little bit closer together and I know that they kind of like like I said, fold over in the inner corner and I have like kind of a brighter inner corner highlight. So I tried to get that. I was also trying to get a little bit of the muscles around my mouth. I have one dimple. Um, I don't have two. I just have one dimple. So I decided to throw that in there, even though I wasn't really smiling in the picture. I gave myself a little bit of a smile just so I could add in that dimple because I felt like it was a pretty important feature of mine. The draw jaw draw draw drawing the jaw <laughs> the jawline was really difficult for me I felt like I just kept changing it and changing it I was having a really hard time trying to get the sides of the face not symmetrical because nobody's symmetrical but balanced I felt like everything kept tilting one way or falling one way and it was just really annoying um and I felt like I would make the jawline too hard or too soft and, and then I would try to fix it and then it would be too hard again and it was just this constant back and forth and comparing it to, you know, like my actual jaw in the final piece, I do think I made it a little bit more idealized, a little bit more sharp than it actually is in real life right now. But that's OK. I think I kind of got it. I do feel like I have kind of like more of a defined jaw shape. So I wanted to make sure that I got that because otherwise I didn't think it was going to look like me. Um, it's really important when you're drawing lips and eyes and noses and all of those things, but lips especially I found to make sure that you're getting all of the different like muscles around the lips and the way that it connects to your face. Otherwise they're just going to sit there like they're floating on the face. So I was really trying to get not just like that, um, connection towards the nose, but also that like shadow under the lips and then the different like where it's going to kind of come forward and then like pull back into where like the smile lines are and trying to get that and keep it really subtle. I think the part of this that looks the most like me right now is the nose. I think the nose is probably one of my more distinctive features. And so I think that's one of the reasons that it was easier for me to get. Um, I had a little bit of a harder time with the hair, so I kept it pretty simple, pretty loose. I just kind of like threw, you know, my little it's like it's that's like my hair in real life. I keep it pretty simple and lazy. I hate doing my hair like I'm bad at it. I'm good at makeup, but doing my hair is just I'm not a good. I'm blah. anyway. Just kept the hair pretty simple. At this point, I was like, okay, this kind of looks like me. Let's just add some depth to this. And I grabbed some charcoal pencils and went over with some darker charcoal to add more of that depth. And at this point, I kind of... It's a little frustrating because I feel like I made a couple little mistakes when I was putting in the black, the darker black. And I do think those couple little mistakes altered this piece just a little bit so it doesn't look quite as much like me as maybe it did before I put these in or maybe that's just me I don't know um, but I do like that I was able to get in at least these like darker shadows to make it pop a little bit more um, even though I'm not a hundred percent sure if I didn't like mess things up a little bit but uh, it's okay. It's hard. It's, it's, it's hard. Do, this was really difficult, but I do think that I managed to accomplish a self-portrait that looks somewhat like me. 
Um, oh, I didn't draw my glasses because I'm new to having these glasses and I'm not really like used to seeing myself with them yet. And all of my other self portraits that I've drawn before in my life have been without glasses. So I was just like, let's not overcomplicate this. But yeah, I mean, you know, I think I did a pretty good job. Um, not a perfect job, but I think that there is a resemblance here. I'm throwing up a photo so that you guys can actually see. Um, but I'm pretty proud of myself. And I think this was a really interesting and fun kind of challenge um, just to kind of see what parts I remembered about myself too. Like what parts about my face tend to stick out the most. I don't know. Um, have you ever tried to draw a self-portrait from memory? Um, do you have aphantasia? And do you think that if you had aphantasia, it would affect it or no? Um, what did you think of this? Do you think it looks like me? Or do you think I'm crazy? Or do you say, hey, I don't want to watch this girl's videos anymore. She's insane. But um, just let me know uh, in the comments down below. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And I hope that you liked this video. I hope you found it entertaining. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video. And as always, have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.